Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this blanket here. Now, I will give you the multiple so you can adjust it to any size of blanket that you'd like. Or even make a scarf out of it, of it if you'd like. But this is what it looks like. It's actually pretty easy to do. You can do double crochets, single crochets. You got this down. So this was made with 12 different colors, as you can see. Starts from the peach and then goes up to the darkest color there. Of course, you can make it solid if you want. Two different colors, three different colors, whatever you like. Now, mine measures um, about 68 inches along the bottom. And it's about 70 inches tall you can do it for as long as you'd like and as wide as you'd like okay so but yeah that's get the gist up it there i love it because i love brown brown's my favorite color i think it's pretty okay you guys want to see the yarn that i used let me move this to the side here all right so i like i said i mentioned i used 12 different colors of yarn and I used Lion Brands Skin Tone Yarn. They have 12 colors available, and I used all 12 colors. Now, it is a 100% acrylic medium weight number four. So you don't have to use this yarn. Any medium weight number four will work. Actually, any size of yarn will work, because I'm gonna give you the multiple, so you can adjust the length of your chain to your liking. But, if you wanna do the blanket like mine, um, I used all 12 colors and it took, um, it's going to take about 3,200 yards to make it my size of, of a four weight yarn. So I used all four colors and I have them here in the order that I used them. So the first color I used was called peachy. And then the second one I used was ivory. This is the order that I put them in. I started with peachy, went to ivory, and then I went to almond, and then I went to hazelnut, and then I went to, let me look here. Cedarwood. honey adobe um, truffle nutmeg mahogany cocoa and ebony so that was the order that i put mine in you can do it in you know, whatever order you want or if you're not using the yarn, whatever colors you want however many colors you want that is entirely up to you so i went through about a ball and a half of each color of those 12 different colors and then i'm going to be using a size um i which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook Okay, so this stitch is done in a multiple of three plus two. Now that is will make the the starting chain makes the stripes horizontal. So as you see how it is laying, you see the picture laying on my bed. The starting chain was at the bottom there. So um, three plus two. So if you're following along with me, I started out with a chain of two o six. I'm going to show you on a smaller scale but once you get your chain of 206 done or whatever chain you're doing what we're going to do is row number one we are going to do a single crochet in the second stitch from our hook and then we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain Just like that. So one single in every stitch until you get to the end of the row. 
Okay, once you get to the end of row one, you should have a total, if you're following along with me, of 205 stitches. So now we're going to go ahead and turn chain one and turn our work. And we're going to start row two. Now row two is we're going to put two double crochets into the very, very first stitch. So this stitch right here, we're going to go ahead and work two double crochets into it. like that. Now we are going to skip two stitches. Skip, skip. And in the next one we are going to put three double crochets into the next stitch. So there's one. Two. Three. Like that. Now we're going to repeat that. We're going to skip two stitches, skip, skip, and work three double crochets into the next. One, two, and three. And we repeat it again. Now we're going to repeat it until we get to the end of the row. Skip two stitches, skip, skip, and in the next we work three doubles. Skip two, skip, skip, and three doubles. So I'm going to continue repeating this until I get to the end of row two. One, two. All right, I'm coming to the end of row two and I have three stitches that remain. I'm going to go ahead and skip the uh, two stitches and I'm going to put two double crochets into the last stitch. That'll end row two. And if you're following along with me, you should have 67 of these groups of three double crochets. 67 of those. We don't count these uh, little sets of two on the end. The 67 of the groups of three. So now we're going to start row three. Now rows three, four, five, and six are the repeat uh, rows. So it's a four row repeat. So for row three, we are going to chain one. I'm keeping the same color and turn our work. Now we are gonna work um, double crochet, two together over these first two stitches here. Okay, so we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna go into that very first stitch and draw up a loop and we'll have three loops on our hook. I'm going to yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook. Then we're going to yarn over again and we're going to go into this next stitch and draw up a loop. We'll have four loops on our hook. Yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook. Three loops that remain and we're going to yarn over and go through all three. What that did is took those two double crochets and made it into one. Now we are going to work a chain of two. One, two. And now we're going to work a double crochet three together over the next three stitches. So it's kind of like the, the two together, but we just have one more to go over. So we did our chain two. Now we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, and yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook. One more time we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook. And now we have four stitches that remain. I'm going to yarn over and go through all four like that. And then we are going to chain two one two and we're going to repeat so again we're going to do a double crochet three together over the next three stitches so we're going to yarn over go into the next stitch draw up a loop and yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook 
yarn over, go into the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook. Yarn over and go into the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two. We have four that remain, yarn over and go through all four, and chain two, just like that. So now we're getting our those little, the look of the little, of the blanket. <laughs> that's like the look of the blanket right there. And that's what we're going to repeat um, for row three. So we're going to do it again. We're going to yarn over and we're going to do, we're going to do a double crochet three together again. Go through the stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two loops. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two. One more time, we're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two, four loops that remain, and we're going to yarn over and go through all four. And we're going to repeat by chaining two and working our double crochet three together again. And we're going to repeat this until we get to the end of row three. Okay, I'm coming to the end. I just did my last double crochet three together. So I'm going to do a chain of two. And then I'm going to do a double crochet two together over these last two stitches. So I'm going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, drop a loop. Yarn over and go to the first two loops. Yarn over and go into the last stitch, drop a loop. Yarn over, go through the first two. And yarn over and go through the remaining three. So that'll end um, row three and you still should have 67 of these double crochet three together now. We don't count the two that's on the end there. So now I'm going to change colors. Every time we get a brick like this, this color, or two of these together like that, that's when, well that's when I switch colors. You can do it however you want. But um, so what I do is kind of just tie off my yarn. So I'm going to clip this yarn. I'm going to start a new color now. I'm not really going in the order that I did on the blanket. I'm just using some scraps that I have left. So, so what I'm going to do is to start my new color. I like to just pull my yarn through that last stitch that we just did. And then what I do is I take these two, two colors, the tail of this one and the tail of the one I just clipped and it kind of tie a loose knot and then later on I can undo that knot and sew in my ends but that just kind of holds it still while I crochet with it so now we will start row four in row four we are going to chain one and turn our work now we're going to put one double crochet right there into that very first stitch like that and then we're going to put three double crochets into this chain two space so there's one two and three and then we're going to put three double crochets into the next chain two space one, two, three, and we're going to continue that. We're going to put three double crochets into each of the chain two spaces until we get to the end of the row. So there's one, two, three. Jump to the next one here. One, two, three so go ahead and continue and put three doubles in each of the chain two spaces until you make it to the end of row four all right so i have made it to the end of row four and i just did three double crochets into this last chain two space i'm going to go ahead and end by putting one double crochet into the top of my last stitch which is that uh, double crochet two together from the previous row now at the end of row four, you'll have 68 of these chain three spaces. 
before we had um on the previous rows we had 67 and now we're gonna have it 68 so we got one more okay now we're going to start row five I'm keeping the same color i'm going to chain one and turn my work and i'm going to work one double crochet right here into this very very first stitch so i'm going to work one double like that and then i'm going to do a chain of one and now i'm going to work a double crochet three together over these next three stitches so again we're going to yarn over go in Draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two stitches. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the next two stitches. Yarn over and go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the two loops on, or next two loops. Four loops remain. Yarn over and go through all four, just like that. So just like we did down here. Now we're going to do a chain of two and we're going to repeat. We're going to do a, a double crochet three together over the next three stitches. So just like we did them before. Four loops that remain. Yarn over and go through all four and chain two and repeat again double crochet three together over the next three stitches that and chain two so i'm going to repeat this pattern all the way until i get to the end of row five all right, now once you make it to the end of row five, I just did a double crochet three together there. I'm only gonna do a chain one here at the end and I'm going to put a double crochet in my last stitch. Like that. And now you'll have 68 of these double crochet three togethers at the end of row five. Okay, so since we got a grouping there uh, of two, I'm going to switch colors. Remember, you don't have to switch colors if you don't want. So I'm going to tie this collar off, start a new one. I'm just going to grab one of these colors here, and we're going to do row six. I'm going to start it into that double crochet that I just ended up in. And I'm going to tie these two loosely together. Remember, later at the end, you just um, unknot them and hide, hide the tails in like that okay we're going to start row six by chaining one and turning our work like that we're going to put two double crochets into the first stitch there's one and there's two and now we're going to put three double crochets in each of the chain two spaces this put three double crochets into the next chain two space three double crochets into the next chain two space and we're going to put three double crochets in every chain two space until we make it to the end of the row just like that okay when you make it to the end I'm gonna go ahead and put I just did three double crochets there into my last chain two space I'm gonna go ahead and put two double crochets into my last stitch just like that that'll end row six and now we're back to 67 of the chain three so that's it you repeat rows two i'm sorry you repeat rows three four five and six so i just finished row six so now what i'm going to do is repeat row three again so what i'm going to do is chain one and turn my work i'm just doing for row seven 
I'm just doing a repeat of row three. So we're going to do a double crochet two together over the first two stitches. Like that. And then we're going to do a chain of two. And we're going to now we're going to start doing a double crochet three together over the next three stitches. Chain two, double crochet three together over the next three stitches. Chain two, and we're just going to repeat this all the way along. Double crochet three together. Chain two. And we're going to repeat this until we get to the end. Remember, we're on round seven, but we're just repeating what we did on round three. Okay, so I made it to the end here. I went ahead and did, I did my last double crochet three together. I chained two. Now I'm going to do a double crochet two together over these last two stitches. And then that will end row seven. Now what you want to do is just keep repeating rows three four five and six until you get your blanket as long as you want it to be like i said i did mine mine's about 70 inches tall you can do more you can do less it's completely up to you you can make a scarf out of this whatever you want to make out of it really it's really a pretty stitch and it's really easy to do um but once you get it as long as you want it to be you i'm going to do a finishing row of a single crochet kind of what we did since we started with the row we're going to finish with the row so once you get it as tall as you want it to be and you end in a row like this. What you want to do to finish is keep the same collar on your hook as your last uh, row. You want to chain one and turn. We're going to do a single crochet right here into the top of this double crochet two together. And then we're going to put two single crochets into this chain two space. one single crochet into the top of this double crochet three together so if you kind of take it and pull it apart right there two single crochets into this chain two space and again single crochet into the top of this double crochet three together so i kind of just take it and pull it apart you can see right there one single crochet, two single crochets into the chain space, one single crochet into the top of the double crochet three together, and we're just going to repeat this, two single crochets into the chain space, and we're going to do this all the way to the end. This is the finishing row. I'm almost to the end, so I'll go ahead and finish it out. So you're putting one single crochet in each of the chain two spaces, one single crochet in each of the double crochet three togethers, and one single crochet in each of the two double crochet two togethers. There was one at the beginning and one right here at the end. Put one here right here at the last stitch, and that would be it. Then you would tie off and you would be and neat though. That's it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. I think it's a cool stitch. Remember, you can use this for anything. You don't, you know, any size blanket, any size yarn, um, scarf, uh, anything really. Bag, if you, if you line it, um, cowls, uh, ponchos, whatever, shawl, anything you want to make with it. So, I think the blanket turned out nice. But, as I mentioned, brown is my favorite color. So, <laughs> um, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up subscribe so you don't miss out any of my videos and um if you make this please don't forget to show me a picture if you make anything tag me on instagram hashtag bag day crochet come follow me tag me so i can see what you're making what you're up to and until next time have a good day bye bye everybody stay safe